I've just cleaned most of the track there. I'm also up to have a look and see where the jewel hits. Um, ultimately I'm going to run the car from here and I'm going to stand down where the, the cars normally sit and we'll go down. So we'll just take a wee walk along here. So as you can see, there is a bump. Um, on, a, on like a seam. Uh, see the, the line here that you see, the dark line there, and then there's another one over there where obviously the transition between each each uh, run of the, the tarmac machine. Um, so obviously I'm bringing the, the dual through here and on my successful run, the 190 run, the car is literally in here. The run where it's not successful, it hits this line here, this black line, and you'll see it's pretty much in line with this gate over here. So I thought we'd do a wee walk of the track so you can see sort of the condition of it. So there's a few areas just around this point. If I was to bring the jewel again, like the, the 190 run in through here, but again, it's hard because at this point, at this point, it's doing 140 miles per hour from there, and it goes 140 here. By the time it would get to me where I'm standing here, um, on the ladder, it's doing 160 or more. So I worked out that the car is going up in the air here. So there's a couple of different things. We have transition here. Um, there it is there. So you have a black line here, but you've also got a transition there. It's very, very hard to see it, but it's quite severe. We're all wet. No. Shit. This, this here goes up. And it's going, and it's going from here up a good, let me see. It's going to be a good 20 mil transition from this point here up where the tarmac comes across and goes up. You can sort of, can you see it? Probably not. But that's generally the area where the car hit that point. You can see where the crack is. There's a crack here where it's raised all the way along there. And it's raised up there. Um, that's where the car goes airborne. Plus this line here. Now, other than this is what I was saying, there's degradation there in the track surface where the tires all coming out from between the stones. But well, it's quite heavy at times, so potentially that as well. But I think honestly, more so this area here, that's a big bump. Big bump here from up here down. You can nearly see it. You, you can't see any crack, but you can see the the, the color from the shadow. Um, other than that, this is, this is the point. If you look in the picture, obviously you've got this here, both cars, both times, across at this point here. So we'll go in here. You can see that crack and obviously the severe uh, deterioration in the tarmac and stuff here. Um, the car was never out that way. Is there anything? No. But it is quite bad. You can see over here is good, but the racing line, the tarmac's all lifted and left the stones higher in places. Um, another crack there. I'm actually going to put this into a YouTube video. So there's an awful lot of people saying about setups and stuff like that. Personally, I don't think it's a setup issue. It's, on the GoPro and the videos that I'm doing, you're not actually able to see the condition of the track. This is the condition of the track. Now, this is an old Army airfield, World War II airfield. You can see the concrete um, precast, for, not precast, but forms there. And then the expansion joints in between, these are the expansion joints um, that are obviously mirroring through the tarmac, just through winters and stuff where the, the tarmac, or the, the, the water gets laden underneath the, the concrete, makes it float and the weight of it obviously uh, depresses and stuff. But ultimately there you can see 
more so I'm not doing too bad to be fair I know I can't run from down the bottom up this way because on two occasions the car has crashed I think it's this bump just here the bump just here no no I hit the same bit I hit the same bit it doesn't take very much to put the car into the air There, I can't recall. So, unfortunately, we utilize what we have. A lot of people saying Rhodes Dog is uh, not going to say it, but not good. But rest assured, I spent four four years in that. That's actually very, very bad. There, remember to avoid that. Remember to avoid that. Um, good God. Uh, and then here as well, you can see how bad it is. But the I've run on the roads for the last four or five years, and uh, it's just not good. This is the best option. So it is. So we make do with what we can. Um, this area here, this bit of track here, from here down to where those tires are at the side, is beautiful. Once you hit where those tires are there, it's just a couple of bumps in underneath the surface where the, the other runway came across, going across diagonally. But this area here is beautiful. It's just that top end, down to here. Right, I'm going to have to stop it here because there was a cart racing. So I'm going to have to try and avoid that. I think ultimately once the cars get down to this point there's enough downforce being generated that they don't lift but under the, the severe acceleration at the top end where they're squatting and the front is up that just gives it the initial kick up to go up so I'll continue this shortly because I've just walked along this area and cleaned the track from uh, rubber and stuff like that so uh, I'll continue on down there after and clear any of the debris as in bits of rubber, marbles. They're not so much marbles these days that you would have had in the 80s and 90s. That's a marble though. More like big strands and stuff. A lot of the time, it's hard to see this when I'm walking, but you can see again the condition of the track. I see you can. Not that we're going to be going out that way, but we'll kick it off anyway. There's definitely some debris around here. They're not very big. That one's big enough. Those are big enough. Right, I'll clear this area. And then I'll check it when I'm walking back, actually. Doesn't look too bad. So where again, where those tires are there? Here, you can see the the, the change in the colour there across. That's where the bumps are. This area here isn't actually too bad. Again, we're all set up this time. I have to do this every time, obviously, just to make sure there's no debris. The sun's in my eye, so it's hard to see, so I'll check it more when I'm coming back up. Uh, there's a big one there. I'll give you an idea of the size of them. So I run down this bit here, if I can. As you can see, at this point, this is where, I'll put a picture in, this is where the the duo was doing 190, 191, and the back wheels were in the air. You can see the marks across here. So there's a wee hollow there. And then it bounced all the way down here. You can see the other bits just here. Whoa, look at the sparks! Track isn't actually too bad. 
today regarding debris. There's a wee bit of debris down here in the Bregan area. Get my steps up doing this. There's my cone there. My cone's gone missing. Oh, it's not. It's in the hedges. I'll go and get that and bring that out. There's one there. Again, you can see the size of that. Doesn't look like much. I'll get these maybe on the way back up. I just don't want to miss any, so not that I'm going to be running over here, but we'll get rid of it anyway. They look like turds. Where's my cone? Where's my cone from a breaking marker? So again, the track the track's ground down here. A few wee bumps. Where's my cone there? I'll bring that out now. And put that as a breaking reference. It's just a reference to give me an idea. Um, ultimately from where I'm only going to be standing where the car is today. But whenever you're way up the top end of the track, there is still a delay in the signal. So even whenever you think you're braking at this point, from right up at the top, the car maybe isn't braking until further down here. More prevalent in the video with the duel, where Sammy said the shouting at it. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, look at the sparks. Stop, 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 stop. Again, I'll drop that wee clip in here as well, so you can see it. Um, this video is literally just for the, the diehards, if you will, um, to see what sort of condition the surface is that I'm running on. Again, look, the jewel, the jewel's put away. It is fixed. I'm just waiting on the battery to arrive and uh, the shell to arrive. But I personally don't think that this track at the minute, especially up around the corner, is fit to run the jewel on. So there's a chance I might be going to another track just to run it the once. I only need once or twice. Um, as I say, I went up one tooth. Um, the last time I was out and did the 190, still accelerating, there's a stone. I was still accelerating and I had already done half a run where I had to abandon it, turn around, go back up, so it was down on voltage. Um, so a clean run, one tooth up, would be damn close to 200 mile an hour. And if I don't see 200 mile an hour on that, I'll check over the car and potentially go up another tooth. Uh, I'd be content if I see the 200 mile an hour. Um, I'd put the car away for a few months and then possibly bring it out again at another stage. I do want to bring it onto the road, down in, uh, where I would run on the road, and I think it's, it has, definitely has a potential of a 190 on the road. Possibly close to 200, but I just, I'm dying to put, to put um, the UK road record out of reach. You know, of, it's, 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 no, should I be saying that? No. It's a bit of friendly banter, a bit of friendly competition. Um, running on the UK roads. Currently the fastest. Look at that. Let's go nuts. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really need to check down here. But you've seen me a couple of times, the car. I'll come all the way down. At most, the duel, whenever I ran the duel and came down. The jail stopped at this white line here. I have yet, I'm not even going to say it, just in case it happens tonight, I'm not even going to say it. And then she's come down and hit the gravel and start cartwheeling there. She is down there. Hopefully she's not too bad. Um, but that's us. That's a wee tour. A wee walk along the racetrack. I run. That's half a mile from round the corner um, to where the corner starts. It's uh, just under half a mile, obviously. 
all right i'll drop a wee video in at the end here of a few runs so you can see